We saw some upsets already with some rank number one players going out, so let's see what happens here. We've not seen very much of Rodriguez to know what he's capable of. Obviously Pan American champion. We've not seen him take part in many of the Grand Prix. And Farzan has dominated his category, so realistically very much the favourite. The Mexican will need to do more than what he's done so far. Farzan getting the measure of him. Oh, more of a stumble there. Big punch of the move in there. No score. It was a good call by the judges, really. It was a big punch, big action, but it wasn't really impacting cleanly. Farzan cuts underneath. Doesn't score, but takes Rodriguez off his feet to get a kill go. and takes his first point, cut underneath, goes up for the headshot. Rodriguez needs to play more aggressively if he hopes to uh, do anything in this match. Fazan Azur said, FLA is getting the measure. I think we'll see another headshot attempt before this match, this round closes. Punching him off the front leg. Come up, goes up to the body again instead of the head, but then looks for it. Short technique there as well. Not scoring now. That probably would have scored before. So, Fazan Azur Fadafala looking comfortable. Rodriguez, we've not seen enough of him yet to think that he's realistically got a chance in this match unless he really steps this up. We've got cameras down by the uh, court side. You can hear Mary Bibak, the Iranian coach, very vocal. Point there, but the can go. So in slow motion, there we did see Rodriguez going, trying some higher shots. Referee not very happy with that head uh, guard positioning, where the chin strap comes coming over his face. Strong kick by Farzan to the body, it's cutting underneath. Rodriguez coming out a little bit more positively in this second round. It's better, he's uh, going to give the Iranian a match now. Still both athletes working off the front leg, so quite negating each other. That was a little bit of a clash there. You can see the Rodriguez Grimes is going to get a Congo. Going out the contest area. That's his second. Extends Farzan's lead to two points. Close range punch. Too close to score. Although it got a cheer from the uh, home crowd. Rodriguez is throwing the punches, but cut underneath there by Farzan. It's not so far very much go up. Oh, the referee calls break there, but it, wasn't, it was out of range. He's given a warning for inactivity against Rodriguez and then to both players. So, as I said, uh, Fala also got the Kyongo. 
That's his second, so the score now 3 1. Control came out, put straight back in there. Normally, they've been given time to uh, just rinse it before going back in, but if Rodriguez just wants to get on with it, he starts to be more active now. Goes in, moves in for the axe kick. Against him, no appeal there, and rightfully so. It was good that he tried it, but it was short, and it was a little bit low. Rodriguez keeps trying to punch, and he might get one given to him. They might get the benefit that the, the judges score the punches. So it's a, a human judgment, so he might get, you know, if he keeps trying with that, he might actually score one of his points. With the punch. He's taking a little bit clearer, he's got a bit longer range. With fear, a stronger impact. So, Farzan Azurzada Fela from Iran, ahead in this match against Cesar Rodriguez from Mexico. Rodriguez did come back into it there, that was the action of the the punch. Well short. But again, good to see. He has tried to get back into the second round, which was which was good because he wasn't very convinced in the first round. So third round, this final round, assuming we don't go to Golden Point. Moving through now, Fazan. Fazan, as I said, Alphala stepping up the activity now. Rodriguez matching it. Fazan trying to stay in the ring and does well. Goes for the headshot. There was a, it looked like there was an impact to the Iranian's face. This could be a game changer. Rodriguez, it did look from our angle that there was a a hook to the face, a hook kick to the face, not a very strong impact, but enough to score. So let's have a look, see if you can see that again. Here we go. Farzan cuts into the body and up to the face there. There's a clear impact from the nose. And it's been awarded as well. That was good action, a good call. Good use of video review. And the crowd was ecstatic about that. Now, could Rodriguez give us the upset of the championships? That one kick just changed this game around completely. He goes up and tries it again. There's a, a, an appeal now from the now we've got the it's actually the, the, uh, the referees can call the the corner judges as they were called the, the referees are calling the centre referee in now, as I'm looking at it nothing decided there no appeals by the coaches so the score remains 4-4 as I'm looking a bit frustrated Rodriguez definitely geared up by that, which he needed to be. He's got the support of the crowd behind him. He's going really well now. He's looking like he's got the edge. Farzan doing a double there, kicking to the body, looking to flick it up to the head. And looking at the points, there's a point for the Iranian. He's got one in that exchange. And again, 6-4, Congo to Rodriguez, we're going to the floor. 10 seconds left, Rodriguez only home now to score a headshot. So, that second Congo, it's a headshot by Farzan. 
No point scored. The world number one. Sperger Kyungu won't be concerned about that. Staying on his feet. That's it. He's going to go out. He knows he's won it. He says Farzan. Very, very strong performance there by Cesar Rodriguez in that last round. He did that headshot which brought him back into the game. It looked like he could have been a game changer, but in the exchanges, Farzan Asadur said, uh, fella, took the points, picked his opponent off on the way in, took two points. There's two Kyongos. And so Farzan Asadur said, uh, fella, the world number one takes the place. Great performance by Cesar Rodriguez, especially in that last round. First round wasn't very convincing, came back into the second, then in the third round tried to really go for it and earn a great headshot.